Okay, in our last talk, we talked about the difference between a spherical lens that focuses parallel light to a point and a cylindrical lens that focuses light to a line. And in the spherical lens, it doesn't matter how we rotate this lens around, the point is always just a point, is always just a point. But a cylindrical lens, if we rotate this lens around, that line can be oriented this way, or it can be oriented this way, or it can be oriented this way, or this way, or any way. Um, it's infinite, you know, how, how we can rotate that lens around. So today we're going to talk about how, um, how to quantify that, how to measure that in a way that we can communicate with others. And what I would mean by that is this. Let's say that we have a cylindrical lens that's oriented like this. And we focus light to a line here. Okay? How do we tell people what the orientation of that line is, right? We can talk about the power of the lens, right? If we know if this is 25 centimeters, we know that's a plus four diopter cylindrical lens. But how do we talk about the other aspect, the green line? You know, we could say, oh, it's a green line that's parallel to the wall. Or we could say, oh, it's a green line that's standing up. Or we could say, oh, the axis of the lens is perpendicular to the floor. Um, but obviously none of those are great. Um, so we should come up with a better one. And the better way to do it kind of takes uh, a cue from, um, let's say, navigation. And that's as follows. So what we can say now is we can map it on a grid like this. And we can say straight up is 90 degrees. Okay, and we're going to kind of go this direction. So straight over here is 180 degrees. <coughs> now if you think of navigation, right, navigation uses a similar system where they have um, straight down is 270 degrees or south rather, and straight east is zero degrees. So north is 90 degrees, west is 180 degrees, south is 270 degrees, and east is zero degrees. You know, and this would be 45, and this would be 135. But with navigation, we're not just talking about orientation, we also have to talk about direction. So by orientation, I mean, um, it's along this horizontal meridian, but direction means we're heading due east, or we could be heading due west. There's a big difference in navigation between heading due east and heading due west, right? If you start off in Chicago and you want to end up in Boston, you want to go due east. If you want to end up in Seattle, you go due west. But there's an important difference between due east and due west. With what we're talking about, there's not. The directionality isn't important, but the orientation is. And the reason for that is a cylinder doesn't have an arrowhead, right? So this end of the cylinder looks the same as this end of the cylinder. That's very different than an arrowhead where this end of the arrow looks very different than this end of the arrow. So because of that, we don't need a 360 degree mapping system, right? We, we just need a 180 degree mapping system. So what we end up with is something that looks like this, where this is 90. But this is also 90, because the cylinder that spans this area, what's going on down here is the same as what's going on up here. Okay, so we only, so 90 is the very top, but it's also the very bottom. And think of what that saves us, right? And then way over here is 180. Over here is also 180. There's no zero. You would think we'd go from zero to 90, but we don't. We go from one to 90, and then we go from um, 91 to 180, and when we hit here, whoops, when we hit here, we go from 180 to 1 to 90, and then 90 to 180, 179, 180, and then 
um, then it starts all over again. So we have 1 to 90, 90 to 180, 1 to 90, 90 to 180. There's no zero. So if we have a, um, a cylinder that's arranged this way, what that means is the axis is along the 190 degree meridian. Well, where's the power then? If I told you this was a uh, plus two diopter cylinder, plus two power cylinder lens, where's the power? The power, remember, is 90 degrees away. So the power is over here. So way up here along the 90, I'm going to write it in red, there's no power. We don't write no, though. Just like we don't write zero, we don't write no. What we write is the word plano. So for this cylindrical lens, we're defining it by two things, remember. We're defining it by the axis. The axis is 90, and we're defining it by the power. The power is plus 2. The plus 2 power is at 180, and the zero power, plano power, is at 90. Okay, Because where we have axis, it's 90 degrees away from the power. So that gets the basic concept of what I'm trying to talk about here. In the next lecture, we'll delve into more detail about with cylindrical lenses, where the power is what. But for now, I just want you to remember this basic concept that when we're mapping things, we're mapping it on a system where we go from 1 to 90 to 180, and then from 1 to 90 to 180. And we have orientation. We need to know the direction something is lying along. So this would be 45 degrees, but this is also 45 degrees because there's no directionality, okay? It's just a cylinder lying along an axis.